Kelman News presents Squirrels. Squirrel steals baited GoPro camera and takes it for a ride. Adorable chipmunk loves morning stretches. Did you know that regular stretching is just as important as exercise? This little guy is so adorable. If you need a little motivation to get in the routine, check out BK, an adorable chipmunk that lives with his owner in Japan. Every morning, BK starts his day like this. A few yawns. Oh my gosh, look at him, flexing his tiny paws. He's so relaxed. Is he meditating? I think this chipmunk is meditating. The video has racked up over 2 million views on YouTube and is just one of many, showcasing the little guy watching TV, playing in a hammock, and having a snack. Rodent ruckus sends California couple to hospital. Squirrels look harmless enough, even cute. But a squirrel insurrection has begun in California, and we'd better stop it before it's too late. Ten people have been mauled by deranged squirrels in Novato, California over the past two weeks or so, with some of these rampaging rodents reportedly actually leaping from trees to dive bomb attack pedestrians. <laughs> the savage squirrels also have no respect for the elderly as 87-year-old Richard Williams discovered the day after Thanksgiving while cleaning out his garage. He suddenly noticed a squirrel had come inside when BOOM! Squirrel attack! Hearing her husband's screams, 83-year-old Norma Williams grabbed a broom and went to help, which only made the squirrel decide to attack Norma as well. Finally managing to grab the creature by the tail, Mr. Williams swatted it down on the ground with all his might, momentarily dazing the rascally rodent before it scurried away. Richard and Norma Williams were taken to hospital, where they received stitches, dressings, and about a dozen shots, including vaccines for tetanus and rabies. The squirrel attacks have all taken place near this neighborhood in Nevada, California, but experts don't really know why. What's your theory? Injured Chick-fil-A workers' generosity inspires the internet. This photograph of a Chick-fil-A employee working despite injuries he sustained in a car crash has inspired an online fundraising campaign to help feed the homeless this Christmas. Teenager Jakeem Tyler from Avon, Indiana busted his neck and arm when he was in a car accident recently. But after getting the all clear from doctors, Jakeem went back to work, not just to earn money for himself, but also because he wanted to buy Christmas presents and donate to the homeless. Chick-fil-A customer Cameron Nelson was amazed to see Jakeem working last week while wearing a neck brace and sling. After learning why Jakeem was so determined to keep working, Nelson uploaded a photo of the teenager to Facebook and set up a GoFundMe page. That appeal quickly smashed its $2,500 goal out of the park and had already raised around 10,000 bucks when we decided to animate the story. So it looks like the homeless of Indiana are gonna have a good Christmas this year. And it's all thanks to the generosity of a dedicated fast food worker and the power of social media. Squirrel goes nuts on home intruder. A thief who broke into an Idaho home had the bejesus scared out of him after discovering a guard squirrel on the premises. Homeowner Adam Pearl felt something was off when he came home and marks on his gun safe confirmed that someone had been messing around in his house. An officer came to investigate after Adam reported some small items missing and was startled to find that Pearl had a pet squirrel. The cops later apprehended the thief 
While questioning him, the officer spotted what looked to be scratches on his hands. Turns out Joey the squirrel had gone full attack mode on the robber and didn't stop scratching, nibbling, and clawing until the bad guy fled. In the end, Pearl got his stuff back and Joey got treats for saving the day. Good squirrel. German police detain squirrel for stalking a woman and then feed it. Man shot dead after being confused for squirrel. A man in western New York state shot and killed his father's friend on Tuesday after apparently confusing him for a squirrel while they were hunting together. The man, identified as 32-year-old P. Kunavong, was squirrel hunting with his dad and his dad's friend near the town of Rush. It's not clear how exactly it happened, but at around 5.30 p.m., Kunavong aimed his weapon at what he thought was a squirrel, but instead fired and killed his father's 71-year-old friend. No charges have yet been filed against Kunavong, but police say they're still investigating the incident. Squirrel goes nuts for Christmas lights. After a Seattle neighborhood's holiday decorations began to mysteriously go missing, residents thought they had a Grinch in their midst. The reality, as it turned out, was much more adorable. Margaret Rakan had been stringing Christmas lights outside her home for more than a decade and was confused when she noticed bulbs were suddenly going missing. The culprit turned out to be a squirrel who had been chewing through the wires to get to the bulbs. Rakan soon caught the bushy-tailed thief red-handed and filmed him on video as he made his escape. The bulb bandit managed to pull for 150 bulbs in 24 hours. The hard-working critter probably thought it was food and stashed them in different yards to prep for winter. But you never know, it's possible the bandit is just really into the holidays. And with a thief this cute, we're sure the neighbors don't mind. Poor squirrel can't figure out its path to freedom is a window. Skip, check this out. I can't even go let him out because he's gonna attack me when I go over there. So, squirrels aren't the smartest animals in the world. <laughs> Paramedics rescue squirrel that got its head stuck in a yogurt cup. The next time you finish a cup of Yoplait yogurt, spare a thought for this poor squirrel. In a viral Facebook video posted by the Emergency Medical Services of Enfield, Connecticut, the squirrel can be seen hopping up and down with a Yoplait container stuck to its head. As the terrified animal tries in vain to free itself from the tasty trap, Enfield paramedics arrive to save the day. Pull the cup off. Squirrels bite? Yes. Bite Food containers can be dangerous for animals, especially ones with a narrow opening, like the iconic Yoplait container. So be sure to crush food containers before disposing of them to prevent this sort of thing from happening. And be careful if you come across a squirrel in a similar predicament. Squirrels are surprisingly strong and have powerful front teeth. 
It was very late Christmas Eve in North Charleston, South Carolina. Helen Ann Williams was expecting her common-law hubby to come home with some yuletide suds, and when he failed to deliver because the store was closed, she was not happy. To make her feelings clear, she grabbed a ceramic squirrel figurine, and while he was in the kitchen making a sandwich, she stabbed him. The man suffered a laceration that ran down his left shoulder, as well as cuts on his face. When the police showed up later, Williams denied any wrongdoing. The man was treated at a hospital, and the squirrel slasher spent Christmas morning in the slam. Thug Squirrel Steals GoPro Camera Squirrel found dead after power outage in Yonghe. In Yonghe, a squirrel accidentally climbed onto a wire pole and caused a temporary power outage in the area around Tingxi Elementary School. <laughs> Neighbors called the fire department when they saw the wire pole on fire soon after hearing an explosion. Officials found the corpse of a squirrel at the scene and assumed it was the cause of the power outage. The squirrel may have mistaken the wire pole as a tree trunk and climbed onto it.